Oh, I saw an otter back here somewhere. Where'd you go? You gonna get a snack? I don't know if I can see you. There's an eye. That looks creepy. Hi. Hi, go. Let's get your stuff. Let me set this down for a second. There's your snack. And let's get your apricot out. Buried in there somewhere. There it is. <gasps> Hi. Can't get it to focus. Hi. Yeah, I'll point it down because it's bright. Well, what'd you go that way for? You know that's your favorite. You love that now. Oh, that was good. We'll point this way so I can move my hand a little bit. Looks like it's getting your eyes, but it's not really. Otter was ready this evening to get an apricot. We missed last night. My husband said that it ran out in front of him when he was walking back down the road. But didn't come out. And I walked around the back here, and Otter was back here. My friend is very smart, and even though it lives in the woods, right around here, it sticks close to the house, definitely at night. The reddish color you're seeing on the eye is not like that seeing otter in person. That's my pajamas. What are you doing? Right here. There's your snack. What are you going to do? Do a binky? Come on. I got your bowl over here. Come on. It's over here. Come get it. way I've got the light shining is like it's just an overhead light. But I mean, water is very close. There's my right boot. And there's our little jar that I keep the snacks in. Otter does stay up close to the house. I think it helps to feel safe with the fox that likes to come out at night. So we'll make this a little unofficial introduction if nobody, or if, uh, rather, somebody watching this has not met Otter before. I can get my words straight here. <laughs> Apologies. If you haven't met Otter before, it's a little wild cottontail rabbit that was born this spring in 2023. When we first met each other, sometime around May, a tiny little ball of fluff just hanging outside, out where the chicken's at. And at that time, Otter was only about the size of what the head is right now. Very little, 
tiny baby. Didn't see any parents around. Didn't see any siblings. And still doesn't hang out with any adults, really. Always by itself. So it's very possible that the rest of Otter's group might not have made it. So in seeing it by itself, I would throw a little snack out here and there and go in a different direction. I wouldn't just leave a snack out because I wouldn't want something else to come up and get it. So whenever I saw Otter, I would just throw something out. And somehow, by um, I'm very humbled that Otter chose to come up closer. And I started putting the little snack in the lid here so that it knew where to come visit. And I would sit a little bit away from the lid and Otter would come up to it. And it's been very fun to sit out in the yard and watch this little bunny talk just like I am now, talk very soft, so you'll see the ears move towards me and pay attention and listen, but my voice and my talking don't scare Otter. And eventually we moved to where I was able to offer a little food from my hand. And I've only done that I think three times. I really don't offer the uh, the little snacks like that right there. Often from my hand, just because I don't want to um, have Otter try to get a mouthful and accidentally use its little teeth. So instead, I start off our snack time by just handing it an apricot. And they're just dried fruits. No kind of added sugar or anything like that. But a lot of the time, Otter's kind of going through a teenager phase now. So there's evenings where Otter won't come up to me. Otter won't take a snack or anything like that, so I will just toss it over where Otter is and then walk away. Yeah, you're getting spoiled now. Whenever you run out, you try to flip the lid over. Are you going to go to the jar? Oh my goodness. You can't just help yourself, buddy. Yeah. That was, that's polite. Thank you. That was very nice of you. Good job. Well, now that Otter has finished up, we're going to close the drawer back up. I'm very surprised I didn't move my hands or my feet or anything. Otter just kind of hopped off on its own. But definitely gets a nice little burst of energy after that. And we'll probably run around the yard to the other side. Usually after the snack. Otter takes off and goes about its business. But that was a nice little snack time. And again, this is our little friend Otter. We don't know whether it's a male or a female, but just a cute little buddy. And our visits are mainly in the evening times now. Otter likes to either be out really early when the sun's coming up or just after the sun goes down. 
It's been very hot, but I think once it cools down, we'll see more of Otter during the day. But we thank you for watching along with us. I'm going to walk down here and go get the little chicken put up. I'm going to go inside and get to cooking supper. I'm glad to see my little friend and hope you all enjoy seeing Otter come visit. I'm very thankful that this adorable wild critter comes up so close and I'm uh, it's definitely like something I only dreamed of. I'm very happy about it. A lot of patience and being very still, being very quiet, being slow to move. But we will see you all again in the next video. Thanks for watching.